FAA Western Pacific Assistant Regional Manager Chris Diggins is part of the federal delegation taking a closer look at operations at the airport. We're here to uh, look at the uh, airport as far as runway safety goes, looking at their signs marking procedures, uh, see if there's any kind of risk involved in the operations and address them if they're there rather than being reactive, we're being proactive. Diggins says they began their visit Wednesday and will continue to tour the runway and tower facilities through the night. He says they haven't found anything of major concern just yet. So far, nothing. It's a very good airport, uh, great management. Uh, we had a lot of uh, good hospitality, um, open communications, and now we're just going to go out there and uh, take a look for ourselves. Diggins says the inspections are conducted annually by either local or regional officials. He says they did notice some improvements made to the signs and markings on the runway that the airport lacked during a previous visit. He says they will wrap up their visit Friday and discuss their findings with local officials. We'll take concerns from anybody. If there's a somebody with a safety concern out there, we want to hear about it and address it if it requires to be addressed. Um, we, uh, we create an action item that uh, is used to uh, develop a plan to address and mitigate the risk. GIA Executive Manager Mary Torres says this is a routine inspection by the FAA. She has another federal team concluded their review Wednesday for what's called a Part 139 certification inspection. Now, Torres does admit that the preliminary report for this inspection team does show some concerns, such as cracks, throughout the facility. We don't expect, and I think it's unreasonable to expect 100%. Uh, in everything, there's always minor um, findings, but, but they are, in fact, minor findings, and most will be rectified uh, within 30 days to 90 days but nothing clearly that affects uh, the safety or, or whatnot. While the FAA was not here to discuss the ongoing plans for the Tizen Parkway project, Torres says they are currently conducting an environmental assessment for the parkway. She admits they are currently in the hardest part of the process. We clearly have a, um, a plan going forward that is concurred by the FAA, so it's now a matter for Guam to take ownership of this and work with the executive office and the legislative branch to find solid and reasonable solutions, and that's really where we're at. Torres says while they are working to get the construction of the Tizen Parkway started soon, she admits they must overcome the tedious work of ensuring the plans meet all required regulations. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Nick Delgado.